Today, we're gonna to be cleaning the Rottweiler intake foam filter. Now, you're gonna need a few things before we start. And first thing is a bucket. After that, you're gonna want this specific filter cleaner. At least it's recommended by Rottweiler. You can use whichever one you'd like. I would suggest sticking to the manufacturer. You're gonna need some rubber gloves, some dish soap, and then some filter oil. Now, I like to use this from Motul. Again, Rottweiler recommends the same brand that makes the cleaner, but I'll let you make that decision. And, of course, water. So let's get this filter out. All right, now I haven't actually cleaned this filter since I put this on the bike. So this has probably had I would probably call it 4,000 miles on it. Um, and you can already see it's sort of dirty. So I think at this point, what I'm gonna do is put on the first pair of rubber gloves to get this out. Really? All right, now to get this actual filter out, you've got the two metal clips on the throttle side of the bike. And once those are twisted, they should just pop right out a little bit. Twist. I'm gonna wiggle this up. Now you do remember that there's the tab on the clutch side. So making sure that that's lifted and out of the way, you should just be able to lift it right out. Eee, look at some of that. All right, now I'm gonna set this off to the side. So now that I have this exposed, I'm gonna try to clean this plate up a little bit. I'm also gonna stuff some rags in there just so nothing goes into the throttle body. But since we do have this opportunity, let's take it. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's move on to the filter itself. Now I don't actually have a nice fancy shop with a good deep sink, so I'm just going to be using my shower. And that means I need to put some swim shorts on. Ta-da! Now it's time to put on another pair of gloves, and what I'm going to do first is just simply rinse that filter in warm water. Once that's rinsed, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my bucket with warm water and put in some of the filter cleaner. Now this is a powder, some people say use half a cup, a full cup. I'm just gonna throw some in there diligently and I'm gonna mix that around a bit. Then I'm gonna put the filter in. I'm gonna rub that and try to get as much gunk off of it. Let it sit for about two to three minutes and repeat the process. Once that's done, I'll pour out the bucket and I'll rinse this filter again. I'll follow that up with another warm bucket of water and dish soap and give it another thorough cleaning. Once that's complete, I'll give it its final rinse in warm water and we're gonna set it out to dry. That doesn't even look like the same filter. Now what you're gonna wanna do before you set this out to dry is try to squeeze as much water as you can out of it. Now you don't want to puncture this because then you'll have to buy a new one, but just gentle squeezes and pushes to get as much water out. And now we are going to set this aside in a nice place to dry. Now I'm going to leave that to dry for probably about 24 hours. I mean, we're still not going anywhere here and I'm still waiting on wheels. So let's check back in 24 hours on how to grease and reinstall this. And then you should be ready for the season. Now at least that gives me time to clean the bathroom. Oh, and uh, make sure for this you wear rubber gloves because these things and filter oil is pretty nasty. I know I usually don't wear gloves at all when working on any motorcycles or cars or anything on this channel. And I never used to in the past. But when it comes to really dirty and sticky jobs like this, I would highly suggest it. So let's fast forward. All right, so it's been a day or two, and this thing is finally completely dry. So now it's time to oil this thing up before we put it back in the bike. And that means more rubber gloves. 
Oh my God, I hate these things. All right, so now that we've got filter, I'm going to be using this Motul oil spray. So I've used this before when I first put it on the bike and quite honestly, I think it's better than like the gel stuff. I mean, the stuff that comes in like a bottle. I prefer the aerosol spray just because traditional, you know, foam filters that you'd find on like a dirt bike, they don't have all of this plastic ribbing to hold its shape. So you can kind of like squish them together and really knead things in there. Obviously, you can't really do that with the Rottweiler ones. So I prefer just to kind of spray it on there. And then once it's sprayed on, I'll use some rim grease on the inside of the filter just to make sure that there's plenty of seal and that nothing kind of squeezes under there once it's installed. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray this on. We're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes or so. Really let it soak up in there before we put it on the bike. And uh, then we're ready to go. All right, and that is pretty much it. So you can see it's kind of like got a blue hue to it. Um, I'm gonna let this soak and I'm gonna try to clean up any of the excess bits around the edges. And again, this stuff is pretty sticky and nasty. So be careful. And now while that's drying, it gives me time to take a look underneath and make sure that we are still clean that nothing is dirty I never put rubber gloves back on all right so this filter is now dry and tacky and what I'm gonna do is add some of this rim grease just put a deliberate amount on the outsides and what this will do is help create the seal between the filter itself and that mounting plate. So even though this is attached to the bike, I still wanna make sure that no dirt and dust and grime kinda of gets in there. So as you remember, on these filters, you've got that plastic little tab that's gotta go on this side, that's gonna clamp on first, and then we can go ahead and latch the two metal pieces. So let me see if I can get this down. That should lock in place. Nope. All right, there we go. And you know it's in place and you can't lift it from the other side. So, I'm gonna go ahead, put these screws in. There's one and two. All right, so that is in place. I'm gonna double check, pull up on this side. Nothing, can't get it up. And this side is good. We got our rim grease, everything sealed and ready to go. Now all we have to do is put the seat back on. All right, you are done cleaning your Rottweiler foam intake. Now I'd suggest doing this probably at least once or twice a season and I wouldn't wait as long as I did. But then again, it really wasn't that bad. And for the performance gains of this motorcycle with the intake on there, I think it's an absolute amazing mod and something that, well, requires a little bit of maintenance, but at the end of the day, if you don't take care of your bike, it won't take care of you. If I missed anything, if you want to learn more, or if you have any other questions, leave it in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys and honestly learning a ton from your comments because in reality, I don't know everything and I'm learning too. And at least you can join me on that journey and laugh as I'm the village idiot of YouTube and learning how to work on motorcycles. But I guess as it's still February and we're waiting to get out and ride here in the Midwest, stay tuned for more updates on the wheel project. But until then, if you can, keep riding.